nor was Ibrahim a Jew, nor he was a Christian, but he was Hanif and he was Muslim. Hanif means he was worshipping only one God and he was submitting to command of only one God. Even the time of the Prophet Muhammad when he was not appointed as a prophet, the people in Makkah who worship one God, they call themselves Hanif. They call themselves, we are on the religion of Prophet Ibrahim. So who can own that land, Palestine, the Jerusalem, included Jerusalem, only those who are in the religion of Ibrahim. What's our religion? Prophet Ibrahim religion. We are on the religion of Prophet Ibrahim. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu say, Allah dictated his words in the Quran, Millata abikum Ibrahim Hanifa wa makana min al mushrikin. I follow the religion of my father Ibrahim and he was not among the mushrikin. He was not idol worshipper. The Christians worship the idols, three gods and multiple gods. And the god of the Jews today is their own nation. They are, wor they are worshipping their tribe. The most important for thing for them in their life is their tribe. They want to work for their tribe. They want to live and die for their tribe. So they are like a tribalist religion. What? Even though they say there is only one God, but their priority is not God. Their priority is their nation, their tribe. They want to live and die for their tribe. That's why every Jewish citizen is working hard for the Zionism, for his own state, and he wants to give his life for his state. So now your God is your tribe. Your God becomes your country. So they are not even monotheists in that context that their priority is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but their priority is their country, their tribe, the Judaism tribe, which is come from Bani Israel. And when Allah was commanding them, when the Prophet Musa said, when when the Prophet Musa said to his comb, Bani Israel, Oh my people, remember the blessings of Allah upon you when he made among you the prophets and he made among you the rulers, muluka, and he given to you that which is not given to the whole world. Oh my people, enter Ard al Muqaddisa Lati Kataballahu Alaikum. Kataballahu Lakum. Oh my people, enter this holy land. What is holy land? Palestine, Jerusalem. Why they were commanded that time to enter? Because they were following Prophet Musa. So who were they? They were Muslims that time. They were on the religion of Ibrahim. What is the religion of Prophet Musa? Judaism? No. His religion of religion of Ibrahim. The Christians are following Christianity, but that's not the religion of Christ. That's not the religion of Jesus Christ. Isa al Masih. Why? Because Isa al Masih religion is religion of Ibrahim. Oneness of God. That's why they follow the Ten Commandments, the Jews. What is the Ten Commandments? The first commandment, La ilaha illallah. Thou shalt not have any God beside me. What is meaning this? La ilaha illallah. Walang Jews maliban ke Allah. There is no God except only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the first commandment of the Torah. The first commandment in the Injil, Prophet Isa alayhi salam said, Jesus Christ said, Shama Yisraelo, Adra ilahino, Aduna ahad. Hear, O Israel, Lord our God is only one Lord. What is the meaning of this? La ilaha illallah. The first commandment by the Prophet Musa, La ilaha illallah. First commandment by Prophet Isa, La ilaha illallah. When Prophet Musa he pray, he wash, ablution. When Prophet Isa he pray, he ablution. What is the Prophet Muhammad's first commandment? La ilaha illallah. Kullu Allah wahad. Say he is Allah only one. Ahad. Injil, the Prophet Isa, Ahad. Only one. Musa alayhi salam, Torah, only one. Ahad. Ahad, Ahad, Ahad. When Prophet, he make dawah to Bilal from Habsha, from Africa, he don't know anything. What the Bilal knows? Ahadun, Ahad, Ahadun, Ahad, Ahadun, Ahad. There is only one God. That is the first introduction for us. Who is our God? Our God is Ahad. Our God is only one. We believe in only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is the God of the Christian? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So it's not one God. There's three Gods. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is only angel, Gabriel. Jesus is only human being, prophet, son of Mary. He has no father. And the God is not father, but he is Allah. He is almighty. When the Prophet Muhammad, he pray, he make ablution, he wash also. Prophet Musa washing, 
Prophet Ibrahim washing, Prophet Isa washing, Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Muhammad SAW washing. Prayers. They are all same. Prophet Ibrahim, when he pray, he wash. Prophet Musa, when he pray, he wash. Ablution. Prophet Isa, same. Prophet Muhammad, same. And all of them have the basic la ilaha illallah. Prophet Ibrahim, only one God. He break all the idols. He go to the temple, so he believes only one God. So Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, Prophet Muhammad, one religion. Islam. Oneness of God. And all of them, when they pray, before pray, they make ablution. They wash the face, they wash the arms. And when they pray, Prophet Ibrahim, Patirapa, he makes sajda. Prophet Musa, he makes sajda. He put the head on the floor. Prophet Isa, when he pray, he put his head on the floor. When Prophet Muhammad, he pray, he put his head on the floor. Muslims are practicing this. Not the Jews, not the Christian practice this. We are putting down our head on the floor. Even the Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, Prophet Muhammad, they all fasting. Whole day fasting. And the greeting of Prophet Ibrahim, Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa, Prophet Muhammad, Anun greeting, what are the greetings? Salaamu Alaikum. Prophet Musa said, Prophet Ibrahim said, Salaamu Alaikum. Even though his father is a Salaamu Alaikum in the Quran. Prophet Musa he is greeting, Salaamu Alaikum. Prophet Isa, Jesus Christ, greeting near, Salaamu Alaikum. And Prophet Muhammad Salaam is greeting, Salaamu Alaikum. So they are all Muslim. And we are following the religion of Ibrahim. So we have only right to control the Jerusalem and Palestine. We as a Muslim. So that's when Allah commanded them, they were Muslim that time because they were under the command of Musa, Prophet Musa. But what they did? They said to Prophet Musa, They say, go you and your Lord and fight. We are sitting here only. Then Allah punished them for 40 years in Sinai, in the desert. So that is a very long story. Uh, and then later they enter, but they enter as a Muslim. They enter as a follower of the Prophet Ibrahim religion. But they are no longer on the religion of Prophet Ibrahim. Jews and Christians, they change their religion into Judaism and Christianity. That's why Allah said in the Quran, Makana Ibrahima, Yahudiya, Wala Nasuraniya, Wala Kinkana Hanifa, Muslima. Not was the Prophet Ibrahim a Jew, nor was he a Christian, but he was Hanif and he was Muslim. Hanif means monotheist. Worshipping only one God and Muslim is the one who follow the commandments of only one God. May Allah guide us. Uh, we pray to Allah to stop the war. We hope that something happen in United Nations Security Council because they are being forced. U.S. and Israel, they know that they have no way to go but to be go for the ceasefire. Inshallah, there will be ceasefire tonight. So we can be feel good that our children in Palestine, our brothers, sisters in Palestine will not be killed anymore. May Allah guide us and may Allah guide all the world. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah, 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 Allah